Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a GPU a video card for a PC. This one is a little bit old video card but they're still good to go and in this one is a uh, I believe is a G4 no gigabyte R9270X which comes with a 2 gigabyte of DDR5 uh, RAMs. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to repaste and how you can clean up the whole heatsink. So let's get to it and let's get it started. The tools that you're going to be needing, is most important one, is a workshop towel or mechanical towels. You will need an alcohol, 100% or 95% plus isopropylic alcohol. You will need an opening tool, a guitar pick. Uh, tweezers, a curved one. Also, you will need a thermal paste. Depending on which one you want, you can get the Arctic MX4 or you want to go crazy, you can get the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, which is one of the best ones. And, and that's it pretty much. And you will need, a, obviously, a screwdriver set. For the screwdriver set, I use the iFixit tool set. They have one of the best screwdrivers out there. You're going to be using a Phillips number one. Right, so let's get it start working. So we're going to be working over on my shop towel. First thing first, we want to flip it over upside down and we're going to realize that there's a four screws with a spring on them. We're going to remove these four screws. And we're gonna flip it upside down and we're gonna hold it down from the fan and we're just gonna lift up the whole heat sink and on this side you're gonna see a jack for the fan just pull it up just it can be really tough you just have to don't pull on the cable try to put it really close to the jack we're gonna if you pull it out you see the whole thing comes out even with the pins is stuck there so don't worry all you need to do is to leave it like this and push it back or just try to remove it from here there we go once you remove it just squeeze it through those tiny three holes in the correct position and there we go it's back in there but after a while because of the heat generated it just becomes really tough for them to be removed all right and here we have the cpu heatsink and the board these pads are really old so what we're gonna do first we're gonna leave the fan system on one side we're gonna grab the cpu i mean the gpu and we're gonna grab another sheet of working towel and we're gonna cut it in a few parts and we're gonna work on that we're gonna spray some alcohol obviously there's more dirt in here to clean it up. We're gonna use a toothbrush and we're just gonna brush it off, remove everything off. Just brush through the fins and also clean up the whole thing. You can take it outside and clean it with the air can or compressed air. I'm gonna take it outside and clean it up and I'll be back. All right, now that I took it outside and cleaned it up, now we're gonna clean up the old thermal paste by cleaning up with the rubbing down with the alcohol. You can use a toothbrush to clean it. Make sure you use a new toothbrush. And there's a tiny capacitors, you want to be careful with those, you don't want to rub them too hard. And this is what I like about this towel, that instead of breaking the capacitor, it breaks itself. So that's why I recommend you guys to use this one. You want to click clean up the RAM chips. Now that this is cleaned up, we're going to put this to one side. We're going to bring back the big boy here. These thermal pads are about 
0.2 millimeters but I would recommend you guys to put a 0.3 millimeters so you can squeeze down nicely uh, I'm just gonna lift it up or clean it up Doesn't matter, you can just throw them out just to squeeze them out and we're gonna clean up the whole plate and if you don't have if you have the not overclock model the GPU RAMs they are not needed to be pat down but if your model is an overclock model OC model then sure you will need the GPU pads to be present right on top all right now what we need to do is to remove the plate over here we're gonna start by removing uh, grabbing Phillips double zero we're gonna remove this screw at the back we're gonna remove the screw on the other side and we're gonna remove not this one we're gonna remove only the top of the two of them in here we're gonna remove the one closer to the fan the one on the on the other side closer to the fan and now we should be able to lift it up pretty easy just take it apart so there's the fan system so you see all this dust in here we can simply knot this one this other one just bring it out take it outside and clean up the whole thing nicely with drew that compressed air if you have like the one in gas station or i'll leave the link in the description for a good compressed air use those to clean up this between the fins so i'm gonna take, put this to one side to clean it out and in meanwhile let's go ahead and clean up the fan the fans can be cleaned up now nicely from this side both side and again you're gonna first blow the air through them and then come back use our q-tips just go ahead and clean up the whole fan system so let me go outside and clean it out i'll be back i'm back now i cleaned up really nicely the heat sink the heat sink is really cleaned up you might have a little bit of dust on top this oxidization can go away with a little bit of the alcohol and just rubbing it but that's just not necessary so pretty much it is cleaned up it looks pretty nice and the fan system i cleaned up with a q-tip and you can go ahead and do a better job than me if you want to make sure there's no dust and the fans are spinning really nice and it's smooth there we go now all you need to do is to put it back together and let's figure this out remember this top corner the bent side has to be facing the plastic on the back side and you want to align make sure the pin right here goes through the first fan on the on the drive on the heat sink it goes right to the first pin and this one goes right to the other side now we're just going to align the holes and we're going to place the four screws that we removed so now we have this one finished up we will need the thermal pads to put them on top you can either put the thermal pad on the heat sink or put the thermal pads on the gpu side and right now as a moment i do not have the thermal the correct thermal pads on the hand but you can get the thermal pads i'll leave the one of the thermal base pads are the thermal greasy thermal pads but make sure you get the 0.3 millimeters and these are 0.4 once you get the 0.3 millimeter thermal pads you can just cut them down and place them on top of the ram dims imagine that i just place the just cut a slice like a gum bar and place them there uh, for the gpu just grab a little demo paste a drop put a drop right on the in the middle of the die 
and to assemble it back together put it on this position so you have the jack in here so push down the jack connected for the fans grab it and i want to grab it leave this one on the bottom you want to bring this one on top May look down through the holes make sure you find the holes for the heat sink just align it right on top once you see it it's fit do not move it set it right there and switch back again to Phillips number one we're gonna place it gently the first one in there and that's gonna pull the heat sink towards itself put this one cross it always cross screw them right there and put the other one and the last one and this is how you uh, service and clean up your gpu for your uh, gigabyte r9 270x versions and it's ready to be installed but again remember i didn't put the thermal pads you will need to get the thermal pads and cut and slice and put them right on top and it should be ready to go and it looks like brand new thanks for watching guys if you guys like this video please click that thumbs up button and think about subscribing if you want to support the channel and i'll see you guys in my next video